This is the uh, smallest push cart I've ever seen in my life. And I believe it's the smallest one in the world. It's the Blade IP from Big Max Golf. So far, so good. I'll first do a couple of these standard push cart agility tests to start off the, uh, the review here. This will be the, uh, the jogging test. In case you, you know, have to run between holes, we do get a little lean mode. All right. See, that I don't like. You see how it tips over? I don't like the tip over. Going straight, it's pretty awesome. Straight back, straight forward, it's great. When you turn, we get a little of this little guy, like you used to see in the 70s police shows where the car's up on the side of the wheel. You don't really see that much anymore. So on the jogging test, I'm gonna give it a six of 10. This will be the over the curb, up the hill, down the hill, over the curb testing. Over the curb. Over the curb, pop the back wheel. Right. The over the curb, up the hill, back and forth, over the curb, testing, nine out of 10. Easy as can be. See, I don't like that. This is why I didn't get a 10 out of 10. You do have to do a wheelie, which is fine. That's why I got a nine out of 10. Otherwise it hits the curb. All right, this test is the side hill test. Also known as, I had too much to drink at the turn test. So you're just kind of going on the side of the hill here. The uphill wheel does come off the ground. Not bad, not bad. It does tip a little on the side. So side hill, I'll give it a seven out of 10. The wheel comes up, partly because the front wheel is locked, it doesn't rotate. So steering wise, you always gotta do the wheelie. Next up is the, I hit my ball on the side of the hill test. I gotta run up there, hit it real fast and lock the wheels and not have any uh, massive problems. Here we go. That's pretty good. I'm gonna give that eight out of 10. The only thing I don't like about that is I have to lock each wheel separately. I wish there was a lock that locked them both at once. Some people like one at a time, some people don't. I think it'd be, for me, I like both lock at the same time. This next test is purely how cool do I look with the Blade IP when I go hit my shot pretty subjective, so you're gonna have to vote below. Let me know on a scale one to 10 what you think. What do you think? It's pretty good, kind of sleazy too at the same time. But I think the Big Max uh, Blade IP looks cooler than me with the black bag they sent me and the black thing. Non-sponsored video, by the way. And uh, I think in the cool factor, with the th it being the thinnest, most compact card in the world, and uh, the cool look of it, I think we're, uh, it's cool. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 on the, you look cool, not me, it looks cool testing portion of the video. This portion of the video is the, does it damage the green while you're walking on it? Because that is, in my opinion, the most ridiculous unwritten ruling golf. Is you can't have your push cart on the green. It does no damage. This thing weighs 14 pounds and my bag, I don't know, doesn't weigh that much and my, I weigh more than that and I have a smaller profile on the green. My shoes are doing more damage than one of these bad boys, but you know, people don't like it. But I'm gonna say with the weight and the wheel width distribution of energy and weight, I'm gonna say if you were to accidentally roll on the green with this thing, something like I'm doing now, I would say, it gets a 10 of 10. It's doing zero damage. Absolutely love it. You might get yelled at, but 10 of 10 in that department. All right, this phase of the test will deal with how secure is your bag on the cart as you move around. Now they sent me this cart. It's a super light, super waterproof bag, 14 slot. I'm not a fan of the 14 slots to be honest with you. But anyways, how secure is the bag on here as you go throughout the round? I'm gonna do a uh, couple circles around this green and uh, shake it up a bit and we'll see how we do. All right, I gotta say that puppy is on there. It's not going anywhere. Super secure. I like how it uh, holds that bag, man. 
usually the bigger bags you use, the better, obviously, but that's when you're trying to go lightweight, you don't want a big bag. This bag is super light. It's the lightest 14 slot bag I've ever used. Uh, that's not what this video is about. It's about the cart. It holds it securely. That I like. 10 out of 10 for security of bag on the cart. Good job. Uh, this is me in the future doing the post round disassemble load in the car. Because when you're done and you just shot a horrible round, you want to get out of here as fast as possible. So you don't want anything messing you around. I hate it when my bag catches on the cart. It's so annoying, especially when you just triple bogey the last hole. I didn't triple bogey the last hole. But if you did, that would be horrible. All right, flip this little switch down. Boom, love that. Oh, okay, that's easy. Boom, boom. There you go. Then what? What do I do? First time, pull this up. Oh, look, that's easy. Oh, and this little guy, just flip, flipping down, flipping down. There you go. Look at it. Ooh, nice little handle right there. I like that, it kind of sets into place. Look at that. I mean, come on, it's 10 of 10 right there. 10 of 10, disassemble mode, perfect score. Great job, Blade IP, moving on. Let's talk about accessories for the cart. That's always very important. I don't have any accessories, but we're gonna talk about what you can do. I do like how it has a um, hole here for like an umbrella holder. Push a little button right here and the, uh, the thing pops off and you can put your umbrella holder right there. I love that. Same on this side, so you got two of those and you can have some on either side, like a, another cup holder or something. It's got these little guys right here. You pop on a little sand bottle or another cup holder here, whatever. Those are great. It has a little uh, net here for your drink, a couple golf ball holders, those are fine. It's got this little thing you put stuff inside. I wish my phone fit inside here, it doesn't. So that's, that's a down, that's down. That's a negative mark there. I want my phone there, doesn't have it. It has a scorecard holder here and a clip for a score here. This one, no, I don't like that. It's under the handle, I'm not gonna, be difficult is what I'm saying. You can go on the website, see everything else they have. You can get a cooler. I don't think you could put a seat on this one. That's all right, you shouldn't be sitting down anyways, you're walking, all right? Stand up, keep it stretched and loose. I love that. So for accessories, I'm gonna give it um, eight out of 10. Good, that this, this is a negative mark. This is, no. I think all of them should come with one accessory, like an umbrella holder. This did not, but they might. This is just the one they sent me. The Blade IP retails for $349. And would I use this if I'm pushing my bag? This is what I would probably use. I love the lightweight of it. So for me, the only real downside of this one is that front wheel doesn't rotate. So you're gonna get some leaning here and there, but it looks super cool. I love the lightweight. And I think I could deal with the, uh, with the two wheelness as you go from side to side. So I thought it was pretty unique being the flattest, most low profile, the most easy to transport of any bag I've ever used that I love. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps in your quest for golf equipment. Love you guys. See you next time.